What's up guys? Welcome to Great Miracles Avenue. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you two powerful and strong warning visions that were sent in by uh, two different people across the world. One is actually coming from South Africa and then the other is also coming from the United States. Okay. Uh, if you are blessed to find this video, I humbly ask that, that you subscribe to my channel to join our happy Christian family and also share it with your friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. If you feel like you have any vision or any story that you think is is going to actually serve as an inspiration and motivate others um, just feel free to pick up the email address in the description section and then uh, just send in uh, your story okay you can actually record a video of yourself um, narrating your vision or your dream uh, it doesn't really matter where you're going to record it it doesn't really matter the device you're going to use just feel free just find a very cool serene environment and then just make a video of your story and just send it in to the email that i'm going to provide below okay all right so it is my hope and prayer that you stay with me to the very end of this video to have a clear insight of the message okay no part has been taken out and nothing has been added to the story so just pay close attention just relax and pay close attention as i proceed with the reading of the first dream greetings from south africa great miracles avenue I have a short message that I would like to share with you. This message was given to me by Yeshua, Christ the Redeemer, in the hopes that it would reach you and your viewers. I usually keep quiet about the daily conversations I have with the Lord. However, I felt compelled to spread this message in the hopes that it would reach my American brothers and sisters in Christ. My daily routine is to sit in my garden and speak with the Lord and listen to what he has to say. This day was different as I suddenly felt the need to trim the large palm trees in front of my house. As I had finished the tax, there remained a large pile of plant debris, and God told me to examine the pile closely. As I did so, I noticed that it had three distinct parts. One, the bitter unedible fruits. Two, the seeds scattered on the cobblestone. Three, and finally, the large dead leaves. He told me this. This power represents those Christians who will be left on earth at the time of the rapture of the church, and it specifically pertains to large mega churches around the world, particularly those in America. The discarded fruits represent the fruits that these churches bear, and it is bitter and unedible. This is because the Lord knows your deeds and sees that you value money and status above the Lord your God. You have become worldly and place your will above the will of the Lord because you have become bitter. He will spill you out just as it is written in Revelation 3 verse 16. The seeds that you see falling on the stone is the symbol of their faith as it stands today. The seeds have fallen on the cobblestone where their faith sprang up quickly. However, due to the lack of soil, which is the Holy Spirit, the sun will come along and scorch them. Their faith is shallow and with us just as it is written in Matthew chapter 13 verse 1 to 52. And finally, the large leaves which represent these large congregations who will burn unless they repent. They will find themselves left behind because there is no oil in their lamps and the light that they have is hidden, covered with fear of persecution. Remember that no man is greater than his master. Unless you repent, you too will find yourselves consumed by the fire that is soon to come. Matthew 25 verse 1 to 13. Know that the time is near and rebuke the devil because he has made his home among you. After God has shown me this message, I immediately had the urge to reach out to you and your viewers. So I hope that this message finds you well and remember that Christ's return is near. Okay, so this dream was sent in by someone, a dear brother or sister. The person didn't actually state uh, the agenda, okay? But what is important here is the message of the vision. After reading the story, I strongly believe that God is trying to warn this type of Christians that are really into um, this kind of prosperity stuff, okay? Uh, these Christians that are mainly focused and centered on gaining worth, money, and then comfort, okay? This is what God is trying to say. It's actually a warning to these kind of mega churches, most in America, okay? Uh, these churches 
and these kind of church leaders are focused on preaching about prosperity message uh trying to gain wealth and all those kind of stuff okay but this is totally different from the teachings of jesus christ okay jesus christ never asked us to um seek for wealth this is actually different from what jesus christ wants us to do okay the most basic thing or the most primary thing that jesus wants us to do is to actually preach salvation to those that are lost okay this is the most important thing we need to talk about repentance we need to talk to people to repent from their sins rather than focusing on preaching prosperity message trying to lure people to christianity uh, by uh, promising giving them hope that they are going to be rich and all those kind of stuff okay so this is totally wrong because immediately you do that you're going to draw the attention of um the uh the innocent souls into thinking that christianity is all about riches okay which is which is which is not the case here okay we need to speak the truth okay we need to speak the truth we need to talk about the word of god which is all about salvation there are a lot of people that are dying without getting saved i keep saying this so it is uh we need to find genuine church leaders we need to find genuine church that talks about uh salvation repentance and then seeking our lord jesus christ okay so um like i keep saying if you've listened to this message I would urge you to pray. Take it in prayer. Pray to the Lord and then ask the Holy Spirit to descend um, this message to you. Okay. Seek discernment from the Lord and then have a clear understanding of what this vision is about. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move on to the second um, dream that was also sent in uh, by a brother from the United States. Okay. So just pay uh, close attention as I proceed with the reading of the second um, dream. Hi, I am from Knoxville, Tennessee, USA. I had a dream that I was a baby going into my old childhood home. In the dream, I saw a guy watching over kids and I waved at him before rushing into my house. I ran into the downstairs bathroom and locked the door and all the windows. Then I pulled down the curtains. I seemed to be in a rush. I could see a huge demon, which I've seen in a dream in the underwater Atlantic Ocean, trying to follow me to the door. It did not catch me. On the other side of the windows, I saw a bright entity that seemed to be expecting me to let them in. But I rushed to prevent Boots from entering. In the bathroom, I had a book that had a peculiar things written in it. A few that stood out were the book of Revelations. Something about a train which almost killed me in a different dream and a feminine white max that had red lips and a white gloves. All of this came about after I prayed to God, Jesus, Lamb of Torah Christ, also known as Yeshua, whom Shiok Messiah, about the demon of rejection. I talked to him about something that I barely remembered from when I was little. The guys were making little silly jokes about me having some girls as my girlfriends, and I brashly said no. The reason why I was reminded of this is because in another dream, I was trying to walk back to my other home at my granny's house and three girls dressed in red, whom I thought were mermaids, caught my attention and I never made it. I seemed to be rather affectionate with them and recognized one of them. I have heard from other Christian YouTubers that when we masturbate and watch porn, demons or even witches come and steal our reproductive flutes and impregnate women with them. I believe this has been done to me because I believe this has been done to me because God keeps showing me some 10 year old girl in my dreams. That reminds me of me and one of the girls in red. I remember when I was 14, I had a dream that three men may swam up to me while three thieves snuck into a house on a hill. These three were perhaps different girls or maybe not. But all of this came about after I confessed in prayer about rejecting these girls and asked God to apologize to them and my potential daughter. If they have been attacking me with witchcraft over something that happened when we were kids, I know that I could be very cruel as a kid, especially considering that this was before I got baptized and acquired the love of humility of God in me.
Of course, this is why forgiveness is crucial. People who reject the light of God seem not to be able to forgive. Even things that seem insignificant to us, all of this comes about from me, being haunted by the demon of rejection. I pray that God would remove the darkness from the girl who might be my daughter and show her that the darkness makes her think the light hurts. And these stolen seed children likely don't know how it feels to be apart from the darkness. They have probably been conditioned to do evil rather than disciplined to be good. This is like the verse about God saying he came to bring a sword between family members because our enemies are our own house, being people who were related to and people who were brought to Christ. Tell us also why he says to pray to our enemies and do good to them so that they repent. In my upstairs bedroom as a child, I had a child's Bible and movies from Disney, Sesame Street and other animated movies. I had a dream where the demon named Mickey Mouse tried to get me to drink the wine of the wrath of God from the abomination of Babylon. A man that looked like my granddad or perhaps even God told me something about Disney cartoons that I did not comprehend. I believe I'm supposed to throw out the cartoons and superhero stuff in order to get the big marine demon out of my house. In another dream, I saw how cartoons used to glorify Jesus Christ. Then that demon came and they no longer did. Throw out all your cartoon and fantasy literature. Anything non-fiction should be thrown out. I certainly have my work cut out for me. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the second dream. Okay, thank you very much for staying with me. And uh, there's one thing I would like to encourage you to do is if you are, wherever you're watching me from, if you're encountering anything like uh, spiritual attacks or any demonic uh, possession and any stuff like that, the first thing you need to do is to assess your life and then pray to God, okay? You need to assess your life and check if there are any faults if you have if you are if you are faults or you, you feel like you've sinned against the lord the most important thing is to seek repentance and then you can ask god for his protection okay and then his uh strength to rebuke any demonic influence in your life okay just like this dream from our second uh, brother okay uh filled with stuffs like demonic uh possessions and uh, seeing demons in his dream and all that could actually have a physical manipulation in his life okay so the best thing is to actually seek um, god's power okay to fight this demon you can, just as it's stated in the bible ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 for the bible says for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms okay so um if if you are also in such a situation like this the best thing you are supposed to do is to pray prayer is the key and then prayer is our weapon to fight any demon or any uh evil spirit that is fighting against us both in our spiritual realm and also in uh physically okay we need to pay attention to dreams. Some dreams are very personal. Okay, so if you dream, if you're, if you're having such dreams like this, you don't have to sit and relax over it. You need to pray. Okay, you need to pray and seek God's help in such a situation. Okay, all right. So thank you very much. If you're watching me and you feel inspired to share your dreams and your stories, whichever story you have, which is related to God, you can just go ahead and pick the email address in the description section and then uh, you can send it, you, you can send your story to email or you can record a video. The best thing is to do is to record a video of yourself. You can use your phone or whatever you have, whatever device you have to record a video of yourself and then, uh, quickly just send it to us. Okay. So God bless you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do not forget to hit on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell so that in case I publish any video, uh, you'll be, you'll be the first to be updated. Okay. And then also do not forget to like and comment. Also, probably you can share with your friends and family so that this message would reach out to every person out there in the world. God bless you until we meet again. Goodbye.